Hi, it's Dan here from rubbermanstudios.com. Today's video is a short and sharp one looking at the updates that Reaper put out. Now, Reaper puts out updates every three to four weeks, far quicker than any other door that I'm aware of. They put out hot fixes, new features, uh, make things run more smoothly. Uh, and I want you to really take notice as to how quick this happens because you actually have to download and install the entire Reaper door every time an update comes out. Now, that sounds like a huge pain in the backside, but it's not. And I want you to really take notice as to how long um, this takes in real time. So this video is shot in real time. You can see here, here are the features um, that are put out in this late, latest update. And they put in hot fixes and little uh, added features and, and, as I said, things that make the door run a little bit smoother in its functions. Now, I'm going to hit the, uh, the download button in a tick. Uh, and when I do, I want you to take notice now. Okay, so this is how the process goes. You have to go to the website, uh, the Reaper website. I have a 64-bit system, so we're going to um, download that now. Now, that's downloading. I'm also going to, when Reaper is installed and up and running, I'm also going to uh, open up a session. It's a huge nine-minute session with about 90 tracks, uh, including folders and subfolders and things, so about maybe 50, 60 audio tracks. But it is a massive session with loads and loads of effects on there. So, uh, again, this is real time. Uh, I have to download and install and open up an enormous session um, and it's all going to happen in the space of this video with no uh, video editing done whatsoever. So I did click on the run once, uh, run or open when downloaded um, option there and so that's going to happen in a second. Okay there it is so we, we run that program uh, I guess of course I agree I hit the next button now a little uh, security thing pops up sometimes I forget to do that so I've done that next and it's now installing and it has installed. So we click finish or close and yes I want to run Reaper. Now Reaper takes about two and a half, three seconds to open and it's done. So we've now downloaded the entire new version of the program. Uh, we've also uh, opened up Reaper and I've hit shift zero which is a shortcut I've got to open up my last session. It's, as I said, nine minute session, huge amount of tracks, huge amount of effects. Uh, it, it is an enormous session and within a couple of seconds that session will be open. Now, in other doors, um, the whole program won't even load up in this particular time. So there you go. That's the session open now. Um, now, as I said, updating so regularly might seem like a pain in the backside, but if you time that, that took approximately, I think I calculated uh, 93 seconds, something like that. So to be honest, in a minute and a half to two minutes, I can download the new version of the program uh, and open up an enormous session like that. It's just an amazing thing that, that, that the guys do in Reaperland. Dan from Rubberman Studios, signing out.